Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. Uh, we're looking at Annex 13 and installing Dropbox on Annex 13. We're going to do that. I've already got the Annex Control Center open. You know how to do that by clicking on the toolbar down in the lower left hand corner. We're going to go to the System tab and click on Manage Packages. It's going to ask for a root password. This is going to open the Synaptic Package Manager. This is the standard Debian Package Manager. Packages being just all the different programs you can install. Before you install a program, I always like to hit the reload button to update the uh, information for what packages are available at a given time. It doesn't take very long. Now that the packages are refreshed, we go into the quick filter and type in Dropbox. And what we see, we see a few packages here. The very first one, Nautilus Dropbox. Now, this is actually the package you want, even though we don't have Nautilus. Nautilus being the default file browser for GNOME. Uh, the, the default Debian package from Dropbox, drop, the main Dropbox website, um, actually still looks for GNOME integration. So we'll just go ahead and install Nautilus Dropbox. We'll do a right click and mark for installation and then click apply. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go out onto the uh, net. The package is actually kind of a meta package. It's going to download the main Dropbox daemon from the Dropbox website and install it. It'll take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video while the download completes. Okay, everyone, we're back and you can see that the changes are applied. Successfully applied all changes. You can close the window now. So let's do that. Now that we're done with package manager, we can close that. And we won't be needing the Antics Control Center anymore uh, for a little bit anyway. Uh, now, Dropbox now should appear in your internet menu and you can see that it does not appear in my internet menu. So what we need to do is come down to desktop and I swim and auto update menu. We'll go click on that. And now it should appear in our internet menu and there it is. Now I've actually already have an account so Dropbox is telling me that my home folder is missing. I am going to um, simply uh, relink the account and go from there. The Dropbox daemon should start up. Yes, now I already have a Dropbox account. And I'm going to uh, pause the video while I put in my password you're going to go through your standard thing. Even if you already have an account, you have to go through their standard setup. I'm not going to set up my phone, and I'm going to skip the tour. That's it. Open my Dropbox folder now. And you're going to see something interesting when the Dropbox folder opens. It didn't open in a file browser. It opened in IceWeasel, and this is completely useless for managing your Dropbox folder. Go open file manager. By default it ends up in your home folder as Dropbox. Now you can see I already have some test folders installed and there's some sample photos that Dropbox gives you just to play around with how things um, uh, link. What I'm going to show you now is a little off the beaten trail. I'm going to show you how to cheat a little bit and make uh, Dropbox open in your regular file browser. I'm going to do that. I have this set of commands in this uh, Nautilus command cheat file that I created. I'll have these in the show notes and I'll probably also throw up a how-to on uh, at the Annex forums on how to do this. But what you need to do, uh, first we're, also, we're, we're, we're going to need um, uh, to open LeafPad, which is our editor. And I'm going to copy these commands in. So I'm going to open this file as text. I'm going to copy these commands in. What these commands do is enable us to... What happens, the Dropbox daemon calls, when you click on it to 
pull up your file browser, it actually calls Nautilus or tries to call Nautilus whether it's installed or not. And it passes, it calls Nautilus and then it passes a uh, directory where it knows Dropbox is installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a file called Nautilus that will open our default our file browser in this case rocks you have to put a different file browser in if you want to this is a variable for the path that Dropbox is going to pass to the program this command this this line here uh, specifies a method by which it will accept uh, file names with spaces um, because a lot of you know a lot of your folders and file names probably have spaces in them and uh, this will allow bash the script to uh, to pass a a file name with spaces to this variable so what we're going to do we're going to save that as nautilus in a u t i l u s and if you have nautilus installed you don't have this problem because it will open in nautilus Dropbox will open in Nautilus. Okay, we can close these. Now we need, in by default, that script is not executable. So we need to make that script executable. Whoops. So we're going to come down here to Properties, and you'll see Run Action, No Action, Specified, and you have this line. These are the permissions for the file. And we're going to give the owner, group, and world exec privileges and if we execution privileges so if we click refresh you'll see that the run action now is to execute the file just means it'll run the commands in the file now we also need to set this in a in the path that our system knows where the command is it, this doesn't really help us being inside our home folder so what we'll do we'll come down to antics menu and run and as we're going to click on run as root and type rocks in the run command that's our file manager it's going to ask for our root password and now we're going to have a root uh, rocks window and actually I like to work with two windows when I'm copying files in rocks so I'm going to go down here to win do a right click on anywhere in the browser in the uh, file browser click on window and click on new window that's going to give us a second uh, root rocks folder we are going to navigate up to the root structure that's what the slash means to the root menu and come down to user and bin which is just a file for binary files that is on our path now we're going to drag from the other root window the nautilus file into the user bin and we're going to go ahead and move that file in there you can copy it, it doesn't matter, but <clears throat> now that that file's in user bin, we can close all those windows and we'll close rocks. And now when we double click on Dropbox, uh, it should, our Dropbox folder should open in rocks. And there you go, now it does. Now I do have changed files, and if you do a right click, and come up to recently changed files. I have moved some of these files around inside the Dropbox folder and you can see that this pensive parakeet that's actually one of the sample photos that Dropbox puts in the photos folder. It has a space in the file name and the way we set up with the the the, 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 the batch file the uh, uh, bash file uh, script it will uh, open uh, it won't open the file, that's not Dropbox's action, but it opens the folder that contains the file. And there you go, and there is the pensive parakeet. I'm thinking he better learn to play chess. One more item, if you look in Dropbox Preferences, you'll see it says Start Dropbox on System Startup. Well, it assumes it's running on GNOME or KDE or maybe LXDE, something that has an auto start folder. And it'll actually put a link to itself to start in an auto start in the uh, in an auto start folder. And if you look around in your home folder, you'll probably find it. But Antics doesn't use a, a auto start folder, or nor Icewim nor Fluxbox if you're using Fluxbox. So we need to go back to the control center and click on ICE WM settings because we want Dropbox to start every time we start up the, the system. And we'll go to the handy startup tab and we'll come down and at the end we will type Dropbox 
start. There is a command line utility that gets installed with the package that called Dropbox and start starts the using the start parameter starts the Dropbox daemon. And that's it. Click save and exit. And now when we re restart log into our system the next time, Dropbox will start automatically and you'll be able to click and move to whatever file browser that you wish. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at Dropbox on Antix. Uh, Dropbox is one of those things I just can't live without. I sync up a lot of different computers between work and home and uh, if you're a Dropbox user and you got an old system lying around, this is the way to go. Uh, Antix is definitely the way to go. Uh, I will say that Dropbox um, changed some of their APIs very recently, as in in the last week. Uh, there used to be a plugin for the Space FM file browser, that the file manager that's included in Antix, that would allow you to get the public URLs for shared files uh, off of the, um, you know, from from the file browser itself, without having to go to the Dropbox website. Right now, since the API's changed, that's not going to work. So I didn't bother showing the plugin for Space FM. If all that gets updated, I'll do another video on that. But if you want to get the public URL, unfortunately, in Antics for now, anyway, you'll have to go to the Dropbox website. Okay, so for tips, tricks, and how-tos, see antics.mepis.org. For any questions and comments, drop it in the comments below or feel free to set up a post and say hi over at antics.freeforms.org. See you next time.